Okay, good morning everyone and welcome back. So today I'm at Ilkley Moor here in the Yorkshire Dales and it's a beautiful morning. It is very cold, I have to say it's probably about minus one, minus two this morning. Um, nice hard frost on the ground. Um, today I'm here photographing the red grouse and if I'm really lucky I may see a black grouse. Um, but yeah, I've already seen a few already, they're flying around. It's early morning so they're pretty active. Uh, so I'm going to get my camera out and start taking some photos and video against this beautiful morning light. Um, there are quite a few stone features around here so I'm going to be exploring those as well. Um, nice little spots to hide in, photograph the grouse. And I've got a long stone wall here in front of me. I'm hoping that they're going to be jumping up onto the wall every now and again and I'll get some pictures of them on the, on the uh, stone wall. Um, there's also a place on that I checked out on Google Maps last night, just over here behind me somewhere, called a UFO landing spot. <laughs> I know I'm, uh, I'm going to go check it out, um, as well as the other rock features um, that are around here, uh, which seem quite interesting. Um, so yeah, so it should be a good day. I'm going to be here all day, um, hopefully get some great pictures and some lovely video. So I'll see you later on through the video, guys. Thanks. this morning I've seen plenty of grouse I've got some nice pictures of uh, a couple of grouse on a wall um, so I've now come down just found a spot in the heather in the middle of the moor in the middle of nowhere and I'm just gonna see what grouse come past me or fly by um, I've seen a few already got one I think quite a nice shot of her uh, grouse flying the great thing about the grouse is it's that when they do take off or go fly when they're coming into land they sort of go up and hover there and gradually go down so you've got quite a bit of time to actually get a shot of the grouse landing and in flight so that's really good to see unfortunately came across a couple of dog walkers well I didn't they came across me um, saw me as a threat and had a right good go at me because I was leaning over a wall with the camera and their dogs were going mental so that put a bit of a downer on the morning. I uh, could have done without that. A couple of Karens giving me an earful for nothing, basically. Um, so yeah, I was a bit disappointed, didn't like that. Uh, pissed me off, to be honest with you. But anyway, you get them. So I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the rest of the morning and forget about that little incident. Thank you. 
Okay, so it's gone a little quiet here now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack my stuff up and head over on the other side of the moors towards uh, a place called Badger Stones or the Two Eggs. There's all different names for piles of rocks up here on the moors. See, so yeah, it's very quiet. I haven't heard a grouse for about 15, 20 minutes. I've seen a couple of them wandering around quite far away. Um, but yeah, it's quietened down now. So I'm going to make a move back to the car and get a drink and then head over the other side of the moors. Okay, so I've just come back to the car, um, just for a quick break. Had a really good morning this morning. Uh, photographed plenty of grouse and got some video. Um, I'm gonna head up further into the moors now. I'm just gonna nip over to this cross, have a look at this cross that was here in the moors. Just take a quick picture of that and see if there's any grouse on my travels. Um, absolutely great day. Look at this blue sky everywhere. Couldn't ask for a better day really. Um, and there's plenty of grouse so if you're looking to shoot some grouse this is a fantastic place to come and do it. Um, all being said there's a lot of heather so they do tend to hide in the heather and north a lot. So I've been sort of hunkered down and just waiting for them to either fly out or walk across in front of me or stick their head up quickly and get some pictures. But no, it's been a really good morning so far. Um, so hopefully it'll be a good afternoon. I've only been here three hours and I could more or less wrap it up now, but hey, I'm here for the day and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And you never know what else you could see. So I'm gonna carry on photographing for the rest of the day. Okay, so I've just uh, come up to a place called Thimble Stones here on Ilkley Moor. Um, just to see if I can photograph some more grouse, and there are plenty around. I'm just waiting for that one shot of the grouse taking up and capturing it perfectly as it's flying through the air. That's my that's my aim for today is to get a really good shot of that. Um, and I'm going to persevere, and I'm going to stay here all day hopefully by the end of the day I'll have got that shot but no it's really nice up here great views all around Yorkshire here absolutely wonderful so yeah I just went to see a cross earlier didn't know what it was called so I'll have put the name of it up on the video earlier you'll have seen that um, but yeah quite a few walkers around it's amazing isn't it that it doesn't matter what weather or day or time of year it is there's always walkers around um, yeah nice to be out though isn't it so anyway I've got a red grouse sat over there I've got two red grouse over there and just 
waiting for one of them to take off or for others to fly in. the female hi my name's Stan well now she's off don't like his name well never mind buddy plenty more birds around So, <coughs> unfortunately, they're doing some controlled burning at the moment, and all that smoke is blowing this way. So it's making things a little tricky to photograph. That being said, Okay, so really good news. I've just seen two red kites fly past. Um, I didn't know what they were when they were approaching. Um, and a pair of them came flying in and, and literally came flying right above me. So I managed to get the camera and shoot straight up at these birds. I um, wasn't too sure what they are. I thought they were buzzards, but I'm not the best at identifying birds. So I've had a look in my bird book and lo and behold they're a pair of red kites so i'm really happy that uh, i managed to photograph them um, i did a little video as well i don't think it was that good though um, but yeah i'm hoping that the the, the photo is going to come out um, but that was really nice to see a pair of red kites flying around um, as far as grouse goes it's been a bit quiet uh, the past hour not a lot happening uh, it is one o'clock in the afternoon so i'm sure that the birds sort of nest down a bit um, I'm gonna hang around and just see if anything else flies by but yeah great day so far and plenty of great photos
Well, what a fantastic day. So back at the car now, um, it's half past one and it is extremely quiet out there. I haven't heard or seen a grouse for about an hour anywhere. Not seen one fly, not heard it, nothing. Um, so I'm gonna call it a day. I've had such a good day here on Ilkley Moor. Um, I've seen enough grouse to do this video and lots of pictures. Um, definitely gonna come back here, absolutely. When this heather is all in bloom with its purple flowers, I'll definitely come back here then as well. Um, just to add a bit more colour and vibrance to the images because uh, the female uh, red grouse really blend, blends in very well and is very difficult to see. Um, but the, the male red grouse has just got that red above its eye so you can just about pop, see them popping up in the, uh, in the heather. Um, yeah, so I had a nice walk around, been to a few of the stone sites and the cross and saw the red kite that was fantastic uh, really happy with seeing that um, hopefully the image is going to come out right so you'll have seen them already um, but yeah fingers crossed that they're going to be all right um, and until next time i have no idea where i'm going what i'm doing next i know i'm only three weeks away or less than going to the isle of mull for a week so really looking forward to that uh, I'm going to take my trail cam with me and find somewhere to stick it out for a few nights as well. Uh, so that's going to be good. And I've actually got to go pick up my trail cam now from a reserve not too far from me. That's been out for three days, three nights. So yeah, I'll go pick that up. I mustn't forget. And thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Please like and, you know, do whatever. It all helps. And I will see you on the next trip, wherever that may be. Take care.